Hi everyone, this is John with Music Greatness. Today we're going to be looking at So What by Miles Davis, starting with the intro, which sounds like this. So what you just heard there was the intro to So What. This is not in any particular key, so it's what we would call atonal. However, we can break down the chords, so let's take a look. First of all, we have an A flat, and this is neither major nor minor, as it doesn't have a third in it. So that's A flat in the left hand, and then E flat, A flat, and E flat for the right hand. And throughout all of these chords, your left hand is going to stay the same for two chords in a row. So next up we have a D flat major. So your left hand has A flat, D flat in the right hand, F and D flat. Next up we have a G major over A. So G over A is A for the left hand, D, G and B for the right hand. And as I said, your left hand is going to stay the same for the next chord. So that's just a straight up F major. A for the left hand, and the right hand has C, F, and A. The final two chords are D minor over G. So that's G for the left hand, and then D, F, and A for the right hand. Followed by G major. So left hand has G, and then the right hand has D, G and B. Now if you're familiar with the original recording, you hear a double bass, followed by some chords. What we've done here is we've condensed it all onto the piano so you can play it all together. So first of all, this bass line is A, E and A flat. And then as you play that A flat, your right hand will join in an octave higher with another A flat. And then you'll go up to these first two chords that you learned in the intro. Next up, we have a very similar pattern, but with slightly different notes. So your left hand's now gonna go A, E, A. And as you play that A, your right hand joins in. And then the G and F chords. Finally, a third phrase, which is again very similar. A, E, G this time. And then the final two chords that you learned. D minor, followed by the G major. And this time you hold the D for both chords. So let's hear those three phrases once again, this time with counting. This bass line starts on the fourth beat of the previous bar. Four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three. So that was all nicely in time. However, the next section is what we would call rubato. Rubato means the time is more flexible, so you can't count or put a metronome along to it. So it breathes a lot more. What we're doing here is called unison. That means the right and the left hand are doing exactly the same thing. So first of all, let's check out the left hand. We've got A, E, G, just like in the intro, back down to A, F, a, E, A, F, G. And now your right hand joins in an octave above.
Next, we have another unison phrase. So first of all, let's take a look at the left hand. G, E, A, E flat, A flat, E flat. And again, now we just include the right hand. Then next, your left hand is just going to play a D on its own, which rings out throughout the whole of the next phrase. So the next phrase is a series of mostly major chords, all in second inversion. There's one minor, but they're mostly major. So first of all, we have an E major, second inversion, followed by F sharp major, followed by G, back down to F sharp, and then back up to G. So that's E, F sharp, G, F sharp, G. And if you look at my fingers here, I'm starting with my middle finger on the top note on that G sharp. And that allows me to very smoothly go to the next chord. So I've got three, four, and five, four, five as the top note. The next chord in the series is the only one that's a minor chord. This is A minor in second inversion, followed by another G. And then after the G, this is the only time when we're going to actually remove our hand to move to the next chord. Here we've got F, E, and F. But in order to smooth that out from the A to the G, I'm now going to hold the pedal down here while I move to the F. Finally, we've got three more chords, which are all a bit slower than the previous ones. We've got F sharp major, E major, and finally, D flat major. So here's that whole phrase, including that bass note. And if you remember, we play a D before starting this phrase. And then we play it again on this F chord. And that's it for the first part of this tutorial. If you'd like to learn the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com where we'll be looking at the main theme as well as Bill Evans' piano solo. As always, thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.